Hey everybody, Greg with Drifter Journey here with an exciting video today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, today we're talking about the Camp Lux 5 liter 1.2 gallon per minute uh, anytime, anywhere instant water heater shower. So Camp Lux actually sent us this one for free. We're going to test it. Um, I'm super excited about it because I think it's going to be a great solution in future life, homesteading, uh, for us to have an outdoor shower or just hot water outside. Um, also for van lifers, we've seen models similar to this mounted to back doors. Uh, so that might be a solution that you could do. Um, we have a separate hot water shower in our van, so we don't need it for that. Um, so I'm more excited about our future home land situation. But for the sake of making them the video that I promised, uh, we are just going forward in the driveway right now. And I didn't really read directions that much, so I'm going to see if it works. But it does come with a 1.2 gallon per minute pump that is DC powered. Um, I don't want to wire it right now. So I have used the hose adapter that comes with it, and I'm hoping that uh, just having water pressure from a house means that I don't need a pump, but I don't know that. Uh, also, we have the hot water line outlet hooked up. It's got a start stop on it. It actually looks like a pretty nice head. I'm excited about that. Uh, five foot hose, which looks to be about six feet long and uh, then it comes with the gas line which there happen to be a propane tank sitting in the driveway that has propane in it so I'm excited about that uh, one thing you do need two D batteries I don't know if they're in the right orientation we're gonna try it two D batteries to make it function in theory hopefully it works um, I'm going to look at the instructions real quick. We're going to stand this in an upright position and then uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can get to fire up with uh, minimal effort. The handy dandy camera assistant asks, what's all this extra stuff it comes with? Well, let me tell you, this guy looks to be the blue water inlet, which is the size for the pump. So you're going to use the pump. You would run it through there and stick it down into a source, so maybe a jug, a, a pond, something clean. Suck it up through there with that, hooked into 12 volt. Uh, comes with some little handy dandy wrenches to you know tighten tighten stuff up. Let's see if that one fits on that one. It did say to make sure there's there's warnings. Don't over tighten. We're not going to be using this super long today, so I'm, I'm going to take my risk. Uh, and then it did come with two adapters for a, a house hose, so I use that one because it fit. And it comes some anchors to mount it onto a wall, a couple bushings to put inside of these adapters, and a uh, little piece for shower head to mount on a wall too, which looks to be in the shape of a heart. All right, so we're going to stand it up. I'm going to look in the instructions on how to start it. Um, I don't know if I said the batteries weren't included. I did have to make a run for those. And then we're going to try and fire it up. See if we can get some hot water come out of it. Next step, turn on the incoming water supply. So your water starts shooting out of it. Oh yeah, that's supposed to do that. Oh, I might have done a bad seal. I twisted it really bad, but I think that's good enough for today. Gas is open. I don't smell gas. Set the water to max. Set the gas to min. I'm going to now... Heads up. Aim that away. It's on. I feel heat coming off of it. <laughs> Put your hand. Does it feel hot? Yeah, it is hot. So I'm going to try not to burn the shit. Oh, look at this. 
That'll help me not burn myself. All right, so then we're on minimum. You can hear it burning. And then we just turn this up. I mean, it's pretty hot. Here. You feel it? That's Ooh. hot. Like, that's really hot. Yeah, so it'll get too hot. Whoa, look at it steaming. Oh, steaming. Yeah. All right, so we'll turn that down. Woohoo! <laughs> Steam room up in here. And then that's on max water. Uh huh. We turn down. We turn down the water supply. How are we doing? There's some better heat. Yeah, good. that's a nice temperature for showering. That's on pretty low right now. Oops. Yeah. And I crank it up again. See if we can burn ourselves again. So even at it a high water pressure, it can still heat the water pretty hot. It's steaming again. Yes. All right, so um, turn it into the off. Okay. That should turn it off. We're gonna turn off the, the hose, hose turn off the gas. All right, so a couple things. This is the 1.2 gallons per minute version. Uh, it is their smallest one, I believe, but it was one of the smaller ones. I think it's the smallest. Um, let me make sure I didn't lie about that. Doesn't say it over here, but it's 28,000 BTUs. They had larger units uh, for higher flow, but for us, uh, trying to be more minimalist and if we're going to have a home set or we're going to be limited water supplies, things of that nature, we want the small one. We're used to showering with a solar shower, which we use two gallons, maybe three for two of us to shower. Um, and then if we use our other camp shower, it's about a gallon a minute. Uh, we actually usually spray ourselves down, set up, and then hose off. So this is on demand. It's just going to keep coming out at that pace as long as you're connected to something. Uh, more than sufficient amount of water. Yes, if you're used to a home shower, you're probably getting three gallons plus a minute. You don't need that. So if you do, buy the bigger one. But this seems like it's going to be awesome for what we need. I can't believe how easy that was that it actually worked with me just literally just slapping everything together. Uh, they do have, try not to ruin this too much, quick disconnect on the cold water that came on the, the other one we didn't use today so there's a quick disconnect there and then it did come with this propane hose so uh, I literally just attached it to a standard propane tank and that's it pretty easy so if you're in the market for uh, portable we we'll even show you what the box is lightweight fully portable instant and endless water easy control and an on off shower head. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. And it's not that expensive. So get yourself one if you need it. Obviously read all the instructions, follow all the rules, don't pull yourself up, and make sure you have it exhausted properly so that you don't suffocate, I would assume. If you have any questions, let us know. Pretty stoked about this. Have a good day.